A major review of security is underway at Milwaukee's Juvenile Detention Center. That's after a teen smuggled in a loaded gun. Todd Hicks has this story from Wauwatosa. Todd? Well, Charles, that teen was checked three separate times and there was nothing found unusual. That's until a worker discovered on the floor a loaded gun. It's a troubling breach of security that resulted in a teen smuggling in a loaded gun to this facility. So we are told he was wanted. Obviously, we want to verify that fact. Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn says it started with the arrest of a 16-year-old boy in a stolen car Friday. The teen was searched twice by MPD officers, but nothing turned up. He was carefully patted down at all those locations. He was then brought to the juvenile detention center operated by the county, where security searched him again. They get searched. Uh, uh, obviously, that search didn't come up with uh, this gun until it, you know, I think fell out. Milwaukee County Executive Chris Abley says the teen was brought through a police entrance not equipped with metal detectors. The gun later slipped out from his rectum. Sheriff David Clark issued a statement after the incident saying his department wasn't involved. He also claims Abley isn't showing the same level of urgency in this case compared to a similar incident at an adult facility earlier this year. Clark said, talk about the pot calling the kettle black. Abley says for now, he's only focused on fixing the problem. I really don't like to spend too much time pointing fingers, declaring enemies. I like finding solutions. Uh, and here, uh, the solution is for our part, we're going to do everything we can to tighten up our protocol. And the county executive telling me today that entrance will now be equipped with metal detectors. And of course, there is a major review of security procedures underway tonight. We're live in Wauwatosa. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. All right, Todd, thanks.